Some youths in northern Nigeria, enraged at the presidency, have what they describe as silence and failure to visit states ravaged by insecurity in the region. They say the north is bleeding, and they are asking Nigeria's president not to leave a legacy of bloodshed. He still have at least a year plus to conclude his leadership, and we are urging him to use the best tactics and strategies he can as a retired military general to bring an end to the incessant killings of northerners and Nigerians. He should not leave a legacy of bloodshed as he inherited it from the previous government. He should let the other government, the, 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 the coming government to address other challenges faced by the country, but not insecurity. If not, he will be remembered for a president who come to salvage the nation from insecurity, but end up doing worse than what he met in the office. The Kadna Zaria Highway has recently been terrorized by bandits, travelers kidnapped and killed. The group wants security operatives to conduct simultaneous operations across northern Nigeria. The federal government must order security agencies to mount and sustain special, special operations in Zaria, Kaduna State, and the entire northern Nigeria. The, ter the terrorist enclaves must be dismantled. The murderous element must be eliminated or ar arrested to fail to face the full wrath of the law. Blocking forces must be stationed at exit roads to ensure the criminal element don't escape to neighboring local government or states. The people of northern Nigeria are angry over the spate of killings in the region. How do you act now? Stop insecurity. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. They hope something urgent is done about it. Nisi Gabriel, Arise News, Cardinal.